y'all know what time it is season three of nba 2k24 just came out and so i gotta update y'all with the best drill moves in the game hey real quick do y'all still play this game a lot because i swear everybody is playing fortnite anyways these drill moves that i'm gonna show you guys today are gonna be for any build so whether you're 6'2 with a really high ball handle or you're six foot eight with a low ball handle y'all know me i have a ton of different builds so i know the best drill moves for all of these builds i'm gonna show y'all in this video i'm also gonna plug you with the best settings the best dribbling tips and at the end of the video i even got a quick dribble tutorial for y'all if y'all go crazy in this video i'm gonna drop that advanced hand cam dribble tutorial soon i'm not even kidding that video is gonna go crazy there's so many advanced moves that i haven't shown you how to do yet 92 percent of my viewers are not subscribed so if you're one of those people make sure to click there at subscribe button but without further ado we got a quick word from today's sponsor and then we're why is there so many bennies bro what, like this is like actually getting crazy bro i know y'all see this there's literally christmas bennies everywhere all right but yeah anyways quick word from today's sponsor and then we're jumping into the drill one yard is all Patrick Mahomes needs for you to make money. If you know a lot about sports, it's time to start making money. With Code Solo and Underdog Fantasy, you get a one yard Patrick Mahomes special if you sign up before his game tonight. But if you happen to not sign up in time, you'll still get a one yard special for another NFL player like this Trevor Lawrence one for Monday Night Football. All Underdog Fantasy is, is it's higher or lower on your favorite player's player stats. If I get five picks correct and put down $10, I'll win 200. And signing up with Code Solo will also give you up to a $100 deposit bonus. The NFL season will be over in two months, and I'm seriously going to miss making picks every Sunday. I'm telling y'all, don't miss out. Sign up today using code SOLO. All right, y'all. So the first thing that I got to show y'all is going to be in the settings. You guys are going to want to make sure you have these down correctly because I can give you all the dribble moves. And same with once I give you the dribble moves, you're going to want to watch the dribble tutorial because you're not going to know how to use them. Same thing for the settings. If you have one of the dribble moves, but you don't have the setting, then what are you doing? Now, I'm going to be honest. There's nothing really in this settings portion, but I know people are going to ask me, what are your exact settings? So here they are. But what you really want to look for is the controller setting. Now, a lot of this stuff in here is for jump shots. So, I mean, you go watch my jump shot video if you want the best jump shot you want the shooting tips but the main thing you want to look for when it comes to dribbling is going to be pro stick function i have this on default although you can put this on dribble moves that just means that you're not going to be able to dunk with the stick or shoot with the stick i take a lot of layups and dunks with the stick so i have this on default but if you find yourself shooting accidentally a lot when you're trying to dribble then if you put this on dribble moves your stick will only make you dribble it won't make you shoot but like i said i like this on default make sure pro stick orientation is on absolute and the rest of it doesn't really matter but i will scroll down so y'all can copy these now we got the badges and i'm to go through this part pretty quick because as we know this year there's not really much i can tell y'all about the badges it's not like we have badge points where we can pick and choose okay we want to put on unpluckable we want to you know what i'm saying it's not like that this year here are the badge perks that i use on my 6-2 guard if you guys have floor setters i mean i still don't really know what to put them on honestly each of my builds kind of have different floor setters on and then if we look at the takeovers they actually nerfed takeovers in season three the one that i've been using all year though is sponge i don't have accelerated because it's not as good this year but if you have accelerator you can use that or sponge i recommend sponge and now this is the glitch this is the key that a lot of y'all are not aware of when you guys are dribbling obviously you're gonna lose stamina pretty fast but if you want an extra stamina bar you know what i'm saying that little extra i think it's blue or i don't know what color it is but that extra little gatorade meter this is how you get it you see in the top right hand corner my weekly workout i have additional turbo meter active you guys see that green little check mark in the bottom left now when you guys hit starter two rep as you guys can see on the bottom of the screen you unlock a permanent additional turbo meter normally gained through gym workouts so if you guys aren't starter two yet then what you want to do is you want to pull out the map which is like that little start but i don't know if you don't know how to pull out the map then you're kind of a lost cause but what you want to do is you want to go to the gatorade training facility which is right here on the map and you want to complete your workouts you just got to do like a little bench press leg press whatever you got to get on the treadmill get three stars or better on each of these workouts and then you'll get the extra stamina meter and you have to do this once per week it expires after seven days now it's time for the part of the video that i know a lot of you guys clicked on it for and that is going to be the dribble move now look the game's been out for about three months now i've tried out pretty much every single dribble move in the game and i think i got the best ones again go crazy on this video and i'm dropping that advanced hand cam dribble tutorial At the end of this video i got a kind of beginner dribble tutorial just to show you know how to use some of these moves once again depending if you got a 95 ball handle or just an 80 ball handle i'm going to tell you all the best dribble moves for all of those starting off with the past style i use Trey 
young. Tyrese Halliburton's the best one, but a lot of you guys don't have. I believe it's an 89 pass accuracy you need for that. I'd recommend going with Trey Young or maybe like Magic Johnson, LaMelo Ball, LeBron, something like that. Now we have dribble style. And if you're brand new to 2K, you're probably like, oh, this doesn't matter that much. It, it's not even like really changing anything. If you look at the player on the right, you know, the animation playing out, it's not really changing much when you look at the different dribble styles. Like if I'm looking at Steve Nash compared to Chris Paul or John Stockton, like it doesn't really look like it's changing much. But it actually does change a lot, especially if you use Magic Johnson. But if you can get Kyrie Irving, this one gives you a really good speed boost. It actually gives you a same ball hand speed boost, which a lot of the other dribble styles do not give you. You guys can see the requirements for all of these dribble animations in the bottom of hand corner. You need a 90 plus speed with ball. You got to be under 6.5. So a lot of y'all will not be able to get Kyrie Irving unless you kind of got one of those short play shots that has like, you know, really high ball handling speed of ball. Kyrie Irving, use this dribble style if you're on those short builds, but if you can't get that, then I highly recommend using Magic Johnson. I'm gonna show y'all how to abuse this later on in the video when we get to the dribble tutorial. This is one of the most broken things with the game because you don't even need to have that craziest, you know, drill moves, speed of ball, ball handle, whatever. To put on Magic Johnson, as you guys can see, it's only a 75 plus speed of ball. Everyone abuses Magic Johnson. So if you can get Kyrie Irving, use that, but if you can't put on Magic Johnson. Next up, we got the signature size up so we're just gonna have to do with like your momentum and a few other moves for those short guards this also is going to affect your quick left right like where you kind of just flick left and run or flick right and then run that way and the best one for y'all to use is going to be steve francis however this is quite possible i think it's the toughest dribble move to unlock in the game because you need a 95 ball handle to get it I don't think there's any drill move that requires you to have higher ball handle than that if you do have a build that has a 95 plus ball handle Steve Francis six size up is going to be the one that you want to use for sure. And if you guys have any other type of build, so you're probably going to be taller than six, five, because if you're shorter than six, five, you could probably get this Steve Francis. And if you can't, well, that's just tough. Cause I probably would have went 95 ball handle if I was like six foot two or even six foot four. But if you can't get Steve Francis, Tracy McGrady is the one that I use on pretty much all my builds. And to be honest with y'all, I've been using my six, six a lot. So Tracy McGrady is the six size up that I've been using pretty much every single day when I play for your regular breakdown combos. This doesn't matter too much unless you use this a lot of course which i don't i don't think it's that important at all i really don't do this ever but for short guards i use steve francis you need 85 plus ball handle and of course you got to be short under 605 and on my taller builds like the 66 that i use pretty much every time i play now i use De'Aaron fox regular breakdown combo now if you're aggressive breakdown combo this one matters a little bit more when i'm on my short guard i really don't activate it all that much but when i'm on my taller builds my iso type builds i do use my aggressive breakdown combo almost every Play. And the one that I'll be using all year is John Morant, which when I do drop that advanced hand cam dribble tutorial, which will probably be in like two weeks, especially if y'all go crazy on this video, there's a glitchy, crazy spin that y'all can get with this SIG. It's very tough to pull off, but you know, I'll show you how to do it in that video that I drop in two weeks. But you need to have this on in order to get that spin. And even if you're not trying to get the spin, when you activate this, which I'll show you how to do at the end of the video, it's this right trigger. So holding the sprint button and then up on the right stick. It's a good little way to start your combo. So yeah, pretty much every can get this 75 plus ball handle and under six foot ten next up we have the escape moves and for the last like two to three years everyone's been using trey yo now, this is still a really good one it still is probably the best one in the entire game 92 plus ball handle is needed for it and you got to be under six foot ten the one that i've actually been using is kemba walker which you only did an 86 plus ball handle and you got to be under six ten i'm gonna be honest with y'all it doesn't really feel much different i don't really think it matters like whether you want to use trey young or whether you want to use kemba y'all can mess around and see which one feels feels better but i have been using kemba on pretty much all the builds that i've been playing on lately and if y'all can't get kemba or trey then i would probably recommend going with something like john wall if you can't get that then you could go with kd also i almost forgot to mention alan iverson's drill moves were added to the game in season three i wish they added a lot more drill moves because i know there's a lot of drill moves that they can add like i was playing my league the other day and i was using tyrese halliburton he has some good sigs that just aren't in the game like you cannot use halliburton sig so add them to the game 2k but they added this alan iverson an escape move. I feel like this is pretty smooth. It looks and feels nice, but it takes a little too long for the animation to play out. So I just feel like these other ones are a little bit better. Now for the combo moves, I really don't do this ever. So I'm going to be honest with y'all. I did not test out the AI combo move because I just never activate this. Who does this when they're dribbling? I don't know if you do. I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, make fun of you. Like this is just really not useful. I use Jason Tatum combo moves on all my builds. The crossover that I've been using since day one of the game being out is De'Aaron Fox. I found this crossover on the first day the game came out and it is still the best crossover in the game in my opinion your 
mirror behind the back matters a lot. Like last year, it didn't matter as much, but now that little standstill behind the back is attached to your behind the back. Whereas last year, I'm pretty sure it was attached to your escape move. I know a lot of y'all are obsessed with the curry slide. So if you want the curry slide, you got to put on the Stefan Curry behind the back. Although I don't have that on any of my builds. This DeMar DeRozan behind the back is actually pretty glitchy. So y'all could use this if you want, but it's not one that I would really, you know, mainly recommend. The James Harden behind the back is one that I used, I believe, in season one. This is a pretty good behind the back, but the one that I think is slightly better is going to be the Jamal Murray behind the back. This is the one that every, well, not like I say every, but like 90% of the best guards in the game are using this Jamal Murray behind the back, and this is one of their favorite moves. Like when you see a guard going crazy and like clipping someone, like, like the, I'm talking like the defender is lost, usually they're shooting off of this Jamal Murray behind the back. And of course, I'll tell y'all how to use it and go crazy with it in the dribble tutorial portion of the video at the end. But I'm not going to lie to y'all. There's actually some pretty solid behind the backs. Like James Moon isn't terrible. Harden, like I said, DeRozan. If you want the Curry slide, use Stephen Curry. This Allen Iverson one that they just added is not terrible, but it's kind of slow. So I just feel like there's some better options. For my spin, I've been using basic spin since 2K19. It gives you the best spin animations. All those spin backs are pretty much patched this year. You can't really do them. I think there is a way, but like people really don't do it like that. For my hesitation, I'll be using Ja Morant hesitation this year. I don't really do it too much, but there is kind of a glitchy hesitation you can get if you're running full speed when you do it. This move doesn't matter too much though. Your step back actually matters a lot. And let me break this down for y'all. If we're talking about the step back move itself, like when you're running and you step back and you want to shoot off of it, the best step back in the game is Luka Doncic. People use this last year. I want to say people used it in 2K22. I'm not fully sure on that though, because it creates the most space when you're trying to dribble. However, the snatch back move is also tied into your step back this year. And Stephen Curry and John Wall give the best snatch backs. And personally, how I dribble, I do the snatch back every single play. Whereas the step back, I don't really do every play. So it's more beneficial for me to put on the Steph Curry step back or the John Wall step back. If you can get Steph Curry, I recommend you put that on because I think it's a little bit better. But if you can't get that, then John Wall is the step back that I actually use on most of my builds because it's kind of hard to get Curry step back even in 92 plus ball hand. You gotta be under 6'5". So put on the John Wall step back if you can't get Curry. And again, I'm gonna show you how to do this in a second. My triple threat style, I use Curry. Kobe Bryant. I just gave you all the best dribbles in the game, but if you want to be the best dribbler in the game, I'm about to put y'all on and show you how to abuse these drill moves. You pretty much score every time. Now for you absolute beginners, you guys can see I'm on the beach. I walked this way towards the elite park. You guys see this building right here, the ante up. That's where I'm going to go into practice dribbling. Although you can go to the Gatorade facility or you could go to the Chris Brickley or even maybe, I don't know, the Sunset Court. I don't know where y'all like to practice dribbling. But look, y'all see this 10 KVC court. A lot of people are scared to play in this court. So I'm going to hop on here and dribble around. I just think this is one of the best ways. Are you serious? Like this dude wants to hop on with me. Right? I hope he just stands over there, bro. So I'm on my short guard. So for the Steve Francis Sig size up, y'all see just like this. This is what I was talking about with the left, right. When you just flick and then run in that direction. So look, bang, bang. You just flick, run in that direction. Flick, run in that direction. So with the right stick, I'm flicking to the top right. And then I'm just running in that direction directly after I flick. Now, since I'm on my short guard, I also have on the Kyrie Irving dribble style. And with that, you can just run out of it. You guys see this you can just run like you get a good speed boost just by running that's all i'm doing i'm not doing a drew move i'm not clicking my sticks i'm just running with the sprint button and now i'm out of adrenaline so it kind of looked weird right there like bro are we like no one on god no one cares like what is this kid doing bro like we're trying to do a dribble with the tutorial and bro is post hooking like bro chill the next thing i'll show you is the curry snatch back since i am on my short guard and i can get steph curry right now it looks just like this and the step back would look like this with steph curry on but i don't really do that ever with steph curry the only time i'm doing the step back is if i have on lucas step back like bro who who is this guy and why like <sighs> all right so all you want to do is hold the sprint button and then just flick down on the right stick bang you can get that drill move right there which is the reason that i'm using the steph curry snatch back or the step back i should say and if you guys want to know how to do the john Morant aggressive breakdown combos you just press the sprint button and then flick up on the right stick it'll play out this whole animation which i never let play out fully but it's for this first move that i like that little where it kind of rocks you to the you know what i'm saying right there i like doing it because of that and also if you go like this that's a little glitchy spin that I might show you how to do in the advanced hand cam dribble tutorial, which I said I might drop in about two weeks. But I don't even do that every play. Like, I'll do this and then just start comboing out of it. You know what I'm saying? It's just a little way to start my combo sometimes. Like, just mix that. Y'all see me doing it right here, like mixing it into the combos. And if y'all are new to the game and you're thinking like, oh, this, this comboing up is crazy right here. It's really not. I'm just mixing in, you know, the snatchback. I'm mixing in the John Moran aggressive breakdown combo. So it's just 
holding sprint button up on the right stick down on the right stick holding the sprint button top left with the right stick holding the sprint button i'm gonna go top right with the right stick just like that that's how you get that move which a lot of people will run out of this move so i mean i do that too i'm not i don't know why i'm saying a lot of people i run out of this move a lot this is the kemba walker escape move or if you guys put on trey young that's how you do that holding the sprint button and then with the right stick i'm gonna go diagonally down to the right to get this little behind the back if you want to go left you're obviously going to go diagonally down to the left that is the jamal murray behind the back a lot of people will do this behind the back regularly like let's say i'm running 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 bang behind the back that's not the most effective way that's not the way that i do it the way that i do it is by doing the lt cancel which is a little more complicated like i said advanced dribble tutorial coming soon go crazy on this video and i got y'all with that but that's a little more complicated so i am now on my six foot six build so i cannot get all those small guard dribble moves and now i have on the magic johnson dribble style and all you want to do for this is you want to run the opposite way so if the ball is in your right hand you want to run left that's all it is you get this crazy speed boost which a lot of people will fade middies off of so for example you could do a behind the back and then just run left just like that and i still have on the allen iverson behind the back so that this is not a good look right here that behind, see, you could, all could sell that's a little slow behind the back i gotta put on the jamal murray one i just realized just because i was testing out the dream i forgot to take it off but what you'll want to do is just run left and right with the magic johnson dribble style but you got to do it to the offhand because if you run same ball hand look at it look at how slow that is like y'all see what i'm saying that's why the kyrie irving dribble style is good because same ball hand you get a speed boost like this is what it looks like with the magic one when you run same ball like it's it's mad slow you know what i'm saying so yeah with this magic dribble style y'all could do a little behind the back run that way run back this way you know what i'm saying the magic dribble style is honestly kind of broken i honestly feel like they need to patch this because i mean the people that do abuse it it's just so annoying to go against and then if you want to compare snatchbacks this is the john wall snatchback compared to the curry one you can't really tell a difference i mean well you can but it's pretty much the same sub up turn on nudies i'll see y'all soon